My first painting was done about 20 years ago. I wanted to experiment with, with acrylics to see what they would be like on canvas. And I thought of my days of going back to Arkansas, back to the woods where my grandparents lived, and the fact that periodically we would see people walking down the road. So you'll see a picture of a man just walking down the road with his cane looking. And when you, when you would see each other, all you would say is, hi you, the person would respond, hi you. I'm doing fine. You would see the adults, my grandparents, my aunts working in the field because they were getting ready for their new crop. But unfortunately, maybe a mule was sick or they didn't have the mules yet. You had to use the other person's body to actually do the plowing for you. So you see a man, and he's the mule, and you see his wife holding the plow, and he's pulling it as she pushes it, getting ready for their crops. It's kind of a, a touching thing to know that in our society now, we have so much. We have technology, things that move for us. We have robots. But years back, during this time, you had to use your body for everything that you did. And even those crops may not have brought you very much money. An example would be you could spend your entire day picking cotton until your hands would just be pricked and they would be bleeding. And you would go down to the station to have that cotton weighed. And you would think, well, at least today I'll come home with a dollar, so at least I can buy some sugar for the house. And unfortunately, because of those very mean people we talked about earlier, during the Jim Crow and segregation time, you probably would come home with 50 cents. You couldn't complain about it because you were considered a sharecropper. And as a sharecropper, you didn't complain.